in Health Watch. A Northeast Wisconsin man survived a heart attack because he was in the right place at the right time. Local 5's Caitlin Corbett explains. Casco's Tony Uliana is a lucky guy. His neighbor was passing by when he suffered a heart attack. Now he's here to share the story of how he turned his heart health and his life around after watching it flash before him. The good Lord only gives you so many chances, right? Some people don't get a second chance. For Tony Uliana, that second chance began when he woke up in the hospital in June after surviving a heart attack. Just a year prior, Uliana had been diagnosed with atrial fibrillation by his cardiology team at Aurora Bay Care Medical Center. They told me I could do whatever I wanted, but I thought to myself, well, what if I'm on a five mile walk back in the woods? Ain't nobody finding me if something happens. Coyotes will have me first, right? And I kind of just went sedentary. I didn't do nothing. A sedentary lifestyle wasn't exactly what the doctor ordered. If you don't do the right things with your lifestyle, you're going to be back. You know, you can offset a lot of the medicines we give you to benefit you by continuing to smoke, by remaining inactive. Um, and not controlling blood pressure, not controlling cholesterol, not controlling blood sugars, all those things prevent the next one from happening even better than our medications. Sure enough, Yuliana was back. This past June, just a day before his birthday, Yuliana had been mowing the lawn when he collapsed. The last thing I can remember is I was reaching, because I had a push mower at that time, and I was reaching for that, and next thing you know, somebody's sitting on my chest. As chance would have it, Yuliana's neighbor, Beth, who happens to be a nurse, was passing by. When she realized what had happened, she called 911 and started CPR. Yuliana calls Beth his savior and knows he likely wouldn't be here today without that second chance. Once a person goes down outside of the hospital, they have a 10% survival. Every minute that goes by that is going down to 9, 8, 7, 6, every minute that goes by without bystander CPR. So that's why we recommend people get trained in it. And if you see somebody down and they don't have a pulse, Call 911 right away and, and start high quality CPR. The source of Yuliana's heart attack, a major arterial blockage, now cleared after Dr. Westlow inserted a stent to restore blood flow. But Dr. Westlow cautions against ignoring even the smallest signs of a heart attack. Women have a tendency to not have the classic chest pain with their heart attacks. Men more often have the classic chest pain, but they more often ignore it. So it doesn't do much good to have the warning signs if you can ignore them. So. I just stress to people, don't ignore chest pain. If you come in and we do an EKG and some blood work and tell you you're fine, it wasn't a useless visit. This time around, Yuliana knew he would have to make some changes. He now walks five miles every day. He's cut out soda and added salt from his diet. And best of all, he's making the most of that second chance. In my case, it was a miracle. I should be dead. Yeah, you gotta make changes. It's part of your life. If, if you wanna live, you know, if you got something to live for, I guess, you better do it, right? I'm not going the other way. I got two granddaughters. I'm not, you know, I want to at least see them graduate, get married, maybe. To take a heart health quiz to estimate your risk, determine your controllable and uncontrollable risk factors, and receive guidance on what to do next, just visit Aurora Bay Care's website. And that's your Health Watch. For Local 5 News, I'm Caitlin Corbett.